With the release of Genome 48.1 and the rapid follow-up 48.2, the Genome project has delivered a wealth of stability and polish improvements across its core components. The Mutter Compositor 48.2 addresses cursor-related bugs, ranging from animated cursor support to eliminating stuttering and incorrect cursor rendering, while enhancing accessibility with workspace announcements for screen readers. Gnome Shell 48.1 fixes a variety of UI quirks, including slider glitches, fractional scaling image sizing, and suspend resume detection. The file's app, Nautilus, sees better tree-to-grid view handling, bookmark deduplication, and more reliable starred folder workflows. Utility apps also get attention. Calculator's currency converter becomes more robust and user-friendly. Software improves dark mode contrast and review fetching. System Monitor preserves UI states. And GNOME Calls now launches seamlessly as part of the session. Mutter 48.2 Core Compositor Enhancements Smoother and correct cursor handling Animated cursors fixed, ensuring custom and theme-based animations display correctly. Eliminated cursor stuttering when using the Wayland Cursor Shape Protocol. Resolved wrong cursor artifacts following window animations, restoring the expected cursor shape. Accessibility and workspace feedback. Announce workspace changes directly to screen readers, improving navigation for visually impaired users. Stability and bug fixes. Fixed various compositor crashes and pop-up issues, boosting overall reliability. Miscellaneous bug cleanups, courtesy of multiple contributors, tightening up code across the board. GNOME Shell 48.1 UI and Performance Fixes Slider glitches near maximum values have been smoothed out for consistent UI behavior. Improved suspend resume detection to better track screen time and digital well-being metrics. Corrected image sizing with fractional scaling, ensuring sharp visuals on high DPI displays. Unfroze cursors in magnifier push mode, restoring visibility when zoomed in. Fixed login screen session button, which now reliably appears after a wrong password attempt. Nautilus, Files, 48.1, File Manager Refinements. Tree to Grid View toggle now switches smoothly without layout glitches. Opening a starred folder in a new window works reliably every time. Google Drive file selection via the file chooser is now bug free. Duplicate bookmarks are prevented, keeping your sidebar clean and organized. Script files run in place, enhancing security by avoiding unexpected working directory changes. GNOME Calculator 48.1 Smarter Conversions Improved exchange rate handling, reducing errors and timeouts during currency lookups. Switch to GNOME-hosted exchange rates, removing reliance on third-party sources. Right aligned text in RTL layouts, ensuring readability for right to left languages. Fixed invisible converter entries when the refresh interval is set to never. GNOME Software 48.1 Dark Mode and Reviews Enhanced contrast for app safety ratings in dark mode, improving legibility. Robust error handling when fetching app reviews, reducing spinners and timeouts. GNOME System Monitor and Calendar Remember expander states in the system monitor, so your preferred sections stay open on restart. Clean up deprecation warnings in calendar, streamlining logs, and build output. Genome Calls Integrated Session Start Calls app now launches automatically as part of the Genome session, making phone and video calls more discoverable. Conclusion these targeted updates across Mutter, Gnome Shell, key applications, and utilities showcase Gnome's commitment to polish and stability. Whether you're relying on accessibility features, juggling multiple displays, or simply browsing files, upgrading to Gnome 48.1-48.2 will provide a noticeably smoother and more consistent experience. Encourage your viewers to update today to benefit from these fixes and enjoy a more reliable desktop environment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out everybody. And don't forget I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.